Cancer, welcome to your weekly forecast. Uh, this is for February 9th until 16th. Now let's take a look what's going to be coming your way. Hmm. Hmm. Someone is coming home soon. Some of you, um, some cancers are, um, you know, you'll somehow feel a little bit disappointed with your, um, you know, with a, like a decision or an outcome that you've been waiting for, for a certain period of time. And you're a little bit, uh, you know, feeling a little bit frisky or disappointed with someone who's an earth sign. Now, you tend to keep your walls up and you want to keep your silence, you know, f until that you can no longer hold it off. But, you know, if there is a decision that you did not really like or there is an outcome that did not really go your way, try to be a little bit more open-minded and don't try to control things. Could be that you need to work a little bit more harder or try to, you know, cooperate more. That's why it did not really... Um, come out the way you wanted it to be and you know that there are some issues that you're already aware of and that's you know already at present so if you know that it's all you know the um the underlying issues right now are negative why would you expect a positive outcome from that all right don't try to control things and try to find a um, different solution to your problem which is eventually it is going to come around the end of this month and not the end of this week changes are coming your way and you are still trying to be a little bit more stronger trying to mentally you know shield yourself away from this negativity so which is you know that it's already right there waiting for you to open up your door or waiting for you to let go of your shield and the uh, you know and it's going to come striking at you. Now, you will also be traveling uh, by the weekends or by this, uh, by the end of the week. And uh, if you have a child, then you will be traveling along with it. Or you're going to be traveling along with your kid. And, um, and there's also somebody from the past who's going to be coming back into your life. Or someone who's going to be coming from a long, long way or from a long travel will be coming um and back into your life to stay all right this is someone that you've um that you've known for a very long period of time and um it seems like this person is also coming home or coming into a uh, an event party gathering or yeah like a celebration of some sort and uh your family will not be pleased with the news you know it seems like some cancers wants to work out in this issue or work, wants to work out in this relationship, especially if you've been separated from, you know, from each other for quite a while. And uh, now you want to work things out again. You need to wait for a little bit before you say or before you announce anything to your family because it's not really going to pan out well. It's not going to come out the way you know you i mean their reaction it's not gonna be that uh positive there will be some more frictions tension and uh, confusion so i feel like wait for a little while before you make this announcement Especially if you are trying to rekindle, you know, a relationship from somebody that you just recently divorced with or somebody that you just recently walked away from or somebody who walked away from you. Um, your family will not be supporting your decision. Okay, so it seems like you're going to be on this alone. Now, when it comes to your work, finances will be a little bit rough and uh, will be a little bit, uh, you know, uh, difficult and slow to come in and even though you're trying to 
feel more positive about these changes that you're trying to make in your life. It seems like things are not really going your way. You're going through a lot of strife, difficulties, crisis, you know, and a lot of um, shakeups in your life. I feel like there is something that you need to change, especially the way how you deal with things, how you perceive things. And, it's, you know, if things doesn't really go your way, then you're going to be a little bit more negative. You're going to be throwing a lot of, you know, harsh comments or you're just going to cut off the communications and then that's it. You know, I feel like you need to be a little bit more open minded and you need to be a little bit more open to changes if you really want for things to move the way you want them to be and you're you know by the end of the week you will feel a little bit alone isolated lonely you know and depressed as well and uh, you're trying to run away from a problem or you're trying to run away from something that you should be dealing with especially for those cancers has been dealing with some legal battles or <clears throat> legal problems legal issues um there will be a final decision that's going to be coming down this week and uh, sad to say it's not going to be in your favor okay this is also not the perfect time for you to reappeal again wait for a little while to you know to let it pass by and uh hmm. wait for things to be in your favor instead of uh, throwing your money away from the uh away for the counselors or away for the money and um i feel like you need to be a little bit more you know um focused and uh don't be so um don't rush into things into making a decision okay and for those who've been trying to fight for a child custody your divorce um if you can postpone it try to postpone it all right and let's take a look at your oracle cards. I mean, some, um, you know, some stuff at some sessions, you can just um, uh, reschedule it. You know, some. I'm not saying that all. All right. You know, not all the time in life you'll get what you want, okay? Because it seems like you're too disappointed with the with something that uh, came in the form of communication. So, hmm. All right. Okay. There is going to be a um like a talk or discussion that you will be doing with a sibling, okay? Somebody that you somebody who can understand you or somebody that you feel more confident or more comfortable talking to or uh, you know, confiding with. But they're not going to be agreeing in your opinion and they're not going to be agreeing in your decision. Now, right before you feel like they're not being supportive enough to your decision, try to put yourself into their place and see it in a broader perspective. Okay, instead of being um, stubborn and uh, pushing for things to come your way or to happen your way. Because, you know... Whatever other people's opinions are, it won't really matter whatever it is that you want to happen and do in your life. Because it's still your life at the end of the day. But it is you who will be suffering from it. Okay? So try to be a little bit more open-minded about that. Now... And, you know, you're... It's like there are a lot of like negativities that's been like that you've been holding back in yourself. Let's say, for example, you know, some old grudges or some some doubts or some suspicions that you've been, um, you know, that you've been, uh, what do you call this? 
that you've been uh, holding on to yourself. It's time for you to let go of that. Alright? And you also need to catch uh, some sleep. You also need to relax a bit. You need to rest your mind. And you need to, you know, rest your body as well. Because you've been... You can't sleep. There's something that's been eating you up, and there's something that you want that you want to control, to change, or to be in your favor. Okay, but there are some things that you can't have your way. Okay, we all have our own moments, and we all have our own time. It just happens that this week is not going to be really in favor of you. Okay, but still, you should be thankful because you're blessed, you're guided, but you know most of the time you feel so alone could be that there are some things that you know when it comes to you know your uh, your relationships to other people let's say for example friendships or mentors or or work colleagues or you know something like that there are some things that you need to learn how to work on and you also need to be a little bit more um you know reciprocating and uh, you also need to work on your friendship or your relationship towards other people or you connecting to other people. Because not all the time you can always be alone and not all the time that you can do things alone or by yourself. Okay, no man is an island. Okay, so anyway, that's it for you for this week, Cancer. And if you want to talk to me live on the phone or live video calls, it's now available in my website. You just need to click on the link, and uh, you also you can also try downloading on my uh, Android app. It's uh, we're still testing it. You know, there are still some bugs, and uh, if there are some problems that you may encounter, you may um, send me an email about it. All right. So, oh, and uh, try to get your annual forecast for 2019. All right. Have a great weekend, and blessings to you.